So this piece, uh, Jan Kekromerts, was uh, the Hungarian composer, as Daniel said, a uh, great guitarist, great composer and teacher, and uh, suffered many uh, setbacks to his career, including the Hungarian Revolution. Um, but most serious of which were a number of uh, medical ailments. Uh, one of those was neuralgia. And at that point in time, uh, treatment for neuralgia was strychnine. I <laughs> 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 don't really need to say anything. Um, at some point, his wife accidentally gave him an overdose. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was very, very ill for a long time, but it took about a year to recover, evidently. Uh, but she nursed him back to health, so we're pretty sure it was a mistake. And <laughs> she, uh, she was a concert pianist, um, and so while he was recuperating, he was listening to her practice all the time. So his music is um, stylistically very influenced by the piano music of that era, by Schumann, Mendelssohn, uh, and uh, those names that I'm probably more familiar to. Uh, so this piece actually sort of sounds like it might have been written for the piano. It was actually written for the guitar. And uh, the title is Elegy. It's probably Metz's best known piece. Uh, we don't know if it was written for anybody in particular, um, but as an elegy, it is uh, essentially a, a very sad piece. Uh, it's a tragic thing to lose someone we love. So much of the music is very sad, uh, but there's also moments of beauty as we remember that person that we love. Uh, and then also, I think, anger that this person was taken from us. And uh, you know we are powerless to do anything. So it's a very uh, emotionally rich piece. And here it is.
Thank mm-hmm. you.